uh, drag or girl. Nobody goes there. It, it noise. You, you, it, it, sacredness of God's presence. L I, I've told you, this thing has plenty of benefits and blessings to answer to you, but you have a responsibility to recognize this thing yourself. Some people, they are in church. Be, they want to tell somebody something. They'll be talking and you are, you are hearing right from the altar. They don't know how to whisper and make it very brief. Some people will be explaining something, be talking, as pastor is talking, they are also talking. And what he's saying is that, no, put it like that, write it like that, and everybody's hearing. Is it time to discuss? The Bible says there is time for everything under your worship, your place of worship is also sacred. You remember when Jesus Christ uh, was went to J Jerusalem, yes, went to the temple, he saw that the place was uh, become a marketplace. He said, my house shall become what? He flogged them out of the place. Why? Because the place is sacred. And nobody could speak against him because what he was doing was correct. Praise God. Mark chapter 11. Let me give you a reference. Mark chapter 11, 15 to 17. Mark 11, 15 to 17. You find that story there. Praise the Lord. He said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. It's not a marketplace. It's a, it's a place to, to communicate with God. It's a sacred ground. It shouldn't accommodate all this filth. Your place of and there is a way you 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 behave in these places. It's a sacred ground. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then finally, the things of God are also sacred. The things of God. The things of God are also sacred. Sacred too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For example, the ark of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The ark of God is sacred. That's an example. Amen. You remember when Moses, uh, sorry, uh, David went to bring the ark. Amen. Amen. He brought it with a lot of dance, praise, worship, and all that. But there's somebody called Uzziah. Uzziah. He, 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 Took hold of the uh, uh, of the ark because the ark tilted and he was struck down. The Bible says God killed him by himself. God by himself. Why? Because it was sacred. How was it sacred? It is sacred only for the Levite. The Levite should be the one to handle it. So it is not. It is not the thing that everybody touches. Amen. Amen. God has hallowed the Le He said the Levites, they are mine. I, he gave himself to the Levite. He didn't give them any inheritance. He gave himself to the Levite. I give you myself. And he said, you will be the one to bear my ark, my presence. Even though what Uzziah was trying to do was a good thing, God said, I'm not saying you. Let me tell you, I'm not saying you. Oh, tell your neighbor, God no send you. God no send you. Whatever God did not send you, allow it. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Praise God. Let people that have been given the assignment do their job. If they don't do their job, they will face the consequence to the one who sent them or put them there. Don't do it for them. Praise God. But who's that? Did it because there was no order. Amen. You can find that in Second Samuel. Chapter 6, 2 to 8. Second Samuel, chapter uh, 6, 2 to 8. But this is where they got the understanding that it was because the Levites were out of place. Second Chronicles, I'll read that one, then we are done tonight. First Chronicles, chapter 15, 11 to 15. First Chronicles, 15, 11 to 15. And David called for Zadok and Abiata, you know, after, <laughs> you know, David does not want to die. So, so <laughs> he didn't understand what was killing people. So he put it in the other, but he don't. 
but he still wants it back. So he called the priest. So he, they have not now told him what the problem is. So uh, he now decided to go and obey. And for the Levite and for you and Asa and Joel, Shammah and Eli and Aminadab, and said unto him, to, said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the thing that was missing in that process, there was no order. So because there was no order, the the Levites that should be in place we are not in place the place that the Levites supposed to be it was Uza that was there when Uza put it he died because they did not follow the due order so the priest and the Levite sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel and the children of and the children of the Levite bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the stave thereof Thereon, as Moses commanded, according to the word of the law. Amen. Amen. Praise the law. That is why people should be in their place. Your place of service. You are in the choir, be there and guard everything and take your assignment. You are usher, do it, be there and make sure your end is. You are. Dickin, Dickinesses, know your assignment and make sure you are doing it. Praise the Lord. When you leave your post, you expose people to all manner of error and things that can kill and destroy and things that will displease God. And there is no opportunity for God to preserve anything. Praise God. Instead, it is the anger of the Lord. And when God is angry, things die. When God is angry, things get bad. Nobody wants to mess with the anger of the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is a consuming fire. So the sacredness of God, beloved, is so important for us. It will help us to always live a life of divine preservation. The life that will benefit you as a child of God. That you do not take the things of, for granted. Don't take the things that God make available for you or told you. Don't take it for granted. If you do, there is always a problem that you will have with God. And there is nothing God wants to preserve. He doesn't want to preserve Jack. Praise the Lord. So please, beloved, let us understand that sacredness must be understood in our kingdom and giving attention to and we live the life to reverence you know you give reverence to whom reverence is due praise god and as far as i'm concerned reverence is due to any of my spiritual head I, whether you like him or not praise god you give them due your parents for example you must honor them whether you like them or praise god you give them their honor God does not ask for your opinion about it. You is your parents or not them? You need to obey them or not them. He doesn't ask for your opinion. Praise the Lord. Yes. So concerning sacredness, please let's take it to heart, and I'm sure that the Lord will bless you. Yes. Have you been blessed tonight? Yes. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Give God thanks. Yes. Bless Him. Appreciate Him. Yes. Just bless Him. Yes. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. Just appreciate him. Thank him for understanding. Lord, we give you praise. Praise and ask God, Lord, give me what it takes to live a life of sacredness to reverence my spiritual health not to err oh god help me not to err in the area of sacredness leto shikari masanda rekabobo shekete leborikataya 
Rimbra di stara baba baba. Le rocha ragabakaya. Pray. If should in case anyone have heard in this area, ask for mercy. Because nothing must perish. Nothing must be destroyed. The enemy, the destroyer must not come in. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. The destroyer must not have access to my life. The destroyer must not have access to my home. The destroyer must not have access to my testimony. Have mercy. Lord, now I understand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Plead in the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead in the blood of Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Mashan de Lebrosha. Reka Katam Bradishti. Red Masun de Libahaya. Red Vashien de Lebrosha. Oh Lord, I give you praise. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. You see, nobody has everybody nobody has any excuse anymore that man said wow the Lord was here and I did not know it praise God so because he did not know he did not do the right thing there but when he knew he said so now that you know there's no excuse praise the Lord I know that whatever God has blessed you with shall be preserved Amen. as long as you do your part everything God blessed you with shall be preserved. Amen. I said everything that God has blessed you with shall be preserved. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He that sent you is with you. Amen. And therefore he will preserve. Amen. Jesus Christ went away after being with um, Lazarus. Is this Zacchaeus? The one that died? Lazarus. Lazarus. Yeah. Praise God. Was already stinking. Praise God. But he has always been their friend. He's like a family member. He had died. But he that was with them still came to them. And he that was dead came back to life. To preserve even the life that was dead. Hear me, somebody. Whatever the devil has done against you shall be undone. Amen. As you partake of this communion today, whatsoever the devil has done against you shall be undone. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, as your children partake of this communion tonight, undo the work of the devil. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Every medical challenge, let this table put an end to them in the name of Jesus Amen. Lord what it takes to maintain sacredness throughout a lifestyle Father grant to everyone in the name of Jesus Amen. so that all that you have blessed us with can be preserved Amen. thank you Father thank you, in Jesus precious name we pray Amen. please go ahead and partake of your communion in faith 